Thanks, Jesse. Good morning, everyone. My name is Vic Chaudhary, and joining me here on stage is Nishit Mohan. And we are here today to introduce an exciting new keynote product. It's called MITE 2.0. MITE stands for the Mobile Interactive Testing Environment, and it helps you get the best from the mobile web. And what it does is it optimizes the experience of website visitors who are accessing that website using mobile devices. So what we have for you today is a great demo that Nishit's going to be doing here. And it's going to help you understand how you can test the quality of the end user's experience with the mobile web right from that device. So what, we'll do, what I'll do is I'll have about three slides, and then we'll get into the demo. So let's get going. The mobile web is being used very heavily in three industries. And the three industries in this example are financial services, retail, and media and entertainment. So banking, bill pay, and payments are three very common applications that people do in the financial services industry. An independent research firm called ABI Research has projected that by the year 2013, there will be half a billion users using mobile devices and using some sort of financial service applications. Many of them are going to be in the US, UK, but China and India global populations using a multitude of different devices. In retail, applications like store finders, price checks, product reviews, they're just a starting point. But they're also global and ubiquitous and different in different countries. So again, you have global populations, and you've got different kinds of devices that these applications are accessible on. And finally, media and entertainment. They've embraced mobile in a very big way. World Cup score apps, for example. Uh, Shakira's World Cup song, Waka Waka, downloaded about a million times in the first 24 hours. Global populations, different kinds of devices. So how do you test and monitor the mobile web if you're using different devices, different locations, different connections? There's three challenges. Number one, it's all about 24 by 7 availability. This is big. How do you test 24 by 7 availability across the world when you're using different devices. Now, Keynote's been doing this for 15 years, so we're no stranger to this. And many of you in the room who are our customers, or even who are not, who are in web operations, you're in charge of your web infrastructure. So if you're running a mobile application, or you're looking at a mobile website on a device, and that content is being served across by different web servers, app servers, databases, or being served up by sort of mobile transcoding servers, you've got to make sure that all of these infrastructure components are reachable from the points across the globe from multiple devices. So that's about monitoring. The second one is about optimizing content. How do you test that content across tens of devices? What about hundreds of devices? What about thousands of devices? That's a really hard problem to solve. And the reason is, some of it is obvious. You look at a mobile phone and look at two different mobile phones, they've got different form factors, different screen sizes. But that's the obvious stuff. What's not obvious? is, well, there's the operating system and the browser and uh, the user agent string that's being sent with every HTTP request. And boy, what about the number of simultaneous threads that are being opened by that browser for that particular domain? These are all the quirks of different devices which you need to be aware of when you're, doing, when you're testing your site content. The third big challenge is over-the-air performance. How do you remotely test over-the-air performance, when you're connected to a particular mobile network, when you yourself are probably thousands of miles away from those markets. So for example, if you're a major World Cup sponsor and you want your website to be accessible on a particular mobile device, and that mobile device is actually in South Africa or Spain or France, what's that experience going to look like? So these are the three big challenges. So what we believe is that we have at least one answer to help you answer these challenges of testing and monitoring the mobile web, and that's my 2.0. This is a free product. Two years ago, we were here on stage introducing a product called Kite. We've given tens of thousands of that product away to people to help improve the web experience. Now we are doing this with Mite. And this is a very powerful tool, downloadable. You install it from, on your desktop. And it's designed from the ground up for mobile. You can, with it, you can automate the testing and verification of mobile content across thousands of mobile device profiles. And you can also connect to real devices all across uh, our infrastructure and do remote tests from there. So we've had Mite available for a while, but this is version 2.0.
and it's really designed for either web IT operations teams, QA certif you know, content certification groups, test engineers, we're doing different kinds of things. So what we want to do next is just take a look at a demo of Mite, and Nishid's going to show it to us. There's three things we'll take a look at. Monitoring 24 by 7 availability for operations guys, optimizing the content for mobile devices, and then testing the mobile performance on mobile operators. Over to you, Nishit. Thanks, Rick. Uh, good morning, everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to be here and demoing, uh, giving a first public demo of the beta version of Keynote Mite. What you're looking over here, can we uh, switch the... Can we switch to the... Can we switch over to the other machine? Please? Okay, great, perfect. What we're looking over here is the start page of the product. Over here, we have a gallery of different video tutorials that will help you to get started and learn the product. But from the start page, you can also start a free 24-hour free monitoring trial for the infrastructure that's delivering your mobile website. What the free trial will do is it will monitor the availability from five different devices in five global locations. Once you submit a free trial request, Keynote will then monitor it using its global test and measurement infrastructure, and then you can go into My Keynote, which is our reporting portal, and look at your results in real time. So what you're looking at here is My Keynote. Uh, for those of you in web operations or performance analysts, we're fairly familiar to you, but if you're not, let me just explain what you're looking at. In the center of the screen, you're looking at a list of all your transactions or user scenarios. In this case, we have a number of retail sites, Best Buy, Sears, Walmart, et cetera. And then on the right-hand side of the screen, you're looking at response time and availability over the last 24 hours, broken down as granular as the last five minutes. So for example, if you look at Best Buy, you'll, you'll see that its availability has been really great. And um, because we've set a threshold really high for sensitivity, just for this demonstration purposes, you notice that its availability over the last 24 hours might be a little bit lower at 97%. So let's go and drill down into the Best Buy on the Palm Pre. So this is on a specific device where you're looking at a measurement being taken on that device. Now, we have a small number of measurements over here, so let's expand the window over to the last 24 hours. And when you do that, you see in green all the successful measurements that have been taken on that particular device. And if you mouse over any one of them, you can get more data about it. You can see what the location is. You can see what the user experience time is, how long the connection time takes, uh, if there's any hang-up times, and so on. At the very top, you see four red, red dots. So these show uh, transactions that haven't been successful. And you can actually go and click on any one of them, and you can see see some data over there. So let's go and look at the red, red bar over there. And if you want to drill into it, you can. And you can go and view the screen snapshot, and that'll tell you why that particular transaction failed at that time. And it shows the screen was actually blank at that page. So on some of the websites we look at, you see HTTP 404 errors, and you can actually see what's happening over there. Let's close that window down. All right, thanks, Wick. So now let's, let's look at what Mike can do more in detail for you. Now, if you're a web operations person and you receive an alert indicating that something's wrong with your website, the first thing you want to do is validate what the issue is. With Mite, you can instantly go to any website on any mobile device. Now, Mite can emulate over 1,600 different devices and, and um, with over 11,000 different user agent strings. For this purpose, I'm going to go to Best Buy on the iPhone device, and as, as I do that, you can see the website being downloaded and rendered in real time on the iPhone. Now I can interact with this device just like I would interact with it if I had the device in my own hands. And now all this is happening in real time. The requests are being sent to Best Buy and the page is being downloaded. Along being able to visually inspect it, most web operations teams want more diagnostic information that will help them to troubleshoot and analyze the performance of that particular web page. What we have on the right is the performance waterfall. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this view. What over here you get is a detailed analysis for each and every element that was downloaded on that page. You have all the information, such as the domain, the path, the, the number of bytes that were downloaded, uh, response times, and other detail that is important to analyze and troubleshoot issues and improve the performance for that particular page. On the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, are the headers that were sent by this device to download this page. Now, this is an extremely important factor and, and secret sauce to Mite. What we do is not only send the user agent string for the device, 
But along with the user agent string, it also sends all the device-specific headers that are required to accurately emulate the device and for the web server to accurately recognize the, recogni the, the requesting device. Now, so just to summarize, if you're a web operations person, with Mite, you can instantly visually look at the website and, and validate if the website is up and running, but you can also analyze the performance by looking at the performance waterfall. Moving on to the second group, which is more of the uh, test engineers. One of the requirements you have is, is, uh, is to get more additional information along with just being able to analyze the performance. Might, for the very first time, introduces a concept of a score. Now, this might score, you can think of might score being something similar to a Weisslow score. What it does is it grades every page on a scale of 1 to 100, and these, the grade is based on some of the checks that might performs. Might checks for content, it checks for performance. Along with that, it also compares the results of the page against W3C's mobile best practices. Let's go ahead and look at this particular page in detail and analyze what the score of 73 means. This is an aggregate score or an average score based on the different checks might perform for this page on this particular device. Now in this case, there are no oversized images. So that is good, which means that all the images on this particular page are smaller than the screen resolution for the iPhone device. However, this page uh, could have done better by specifying the height and the width for the image in the image tags. Now, as most of you would know, this is a best practice that should be followed. Specifying the height and the width makes it easier for the browser to, to allocate the right amount of space while rendering the page, and it also improves the performance of the page. Now, over here on the right are all the images for this particular page that do not specify the height and the width, or in general, the, the size of the image. Another area where this page could have performed better was basically by specifying or having the JavaScript at the bottom. Now, as, as many of you would be familiar with this practice in, in Weisslow, it is recommended to have JavaScript at the end of the page. Uh, while JavaScript is downloading, no other content can be downloaded. So it is recommended you download all the content first, and while your other content and other elements are downloading, that's when you download JavaScript. That's not being followed on this particular page, which is why this page has got a poor score for this check. But overall, it has a score of 73. Now, one of the things, so just to summarize, if, if you're a test engineer or a performance analyst, along with obviously looking at the waterfall graph, you can also look at some of the best practices that need to be followed and tweak your website to improve in performance. Besides that, if you're a QA guy or a content certification guy, your need is, more, is, is of scale. You want to be instantly able to validate and certify your content across multiple devices. And MIT lets you do that by running a matrix test. What that means is you can, you can run a script across, across many different devices and look at your results in this kind of a matrix view. What I have over here is three different scripts that I ran, one for Best Buy, one for Target, one for Walmart, on these different smartphones such as the iPhone 3G, the iPad, BlackBerry, Palm Pre, and some of the other ones. What this, do, what this does is it gives me a snapshot view of how well my script ran, along with giving me the score for each one of those tests. I can quickly go through the different screens that were downloaded for that particular test, and I can also drill down into each one of these cells by double-clicking and analyzing the results a little more in detail. Over here, I have the screens for each one of them. I have the might score, and along with that, I can also analyze performance, look at the verification results, and zoom in for detailed, zoom into the screen if I want to look at the visuals uh, more in detail. So just to summarize, over, overall MITE is a great tool that can be used by different groups responsible for delivering mobile websites. It can be used by developers, QA guys, operations, everyone. It gives them a common platform to test, verify, and optimize their mobile websites and overall improve the end user experience. Can we switch to the other slide, please? You can, you can sign up for the Mite 2.0 beta at this URL, which will show up in a second, uh, httpmite.keynote.com. We'd like to give this back to the community, use it for free, and it'll tell you 
how to optimize your website and take it for a spin around the mobile world. Now, whether on the web or mobile, it's really all about optimizing the end user experience, whether you do it from a browser or you do it from an actual device. And so Mike is here to help improve the user experience for the mobile web. Thank you, everybody. Have a great conference.